A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. Communities all across the world spend the month of June celebrating Pride. And for Copenhagen Pride, sound designer Nis Norgard was asked to create a virtual voice unlike any he'd created before. One that was genderless. In the development of virtual assistants like Siri and Alexa, designers like Nis are taking on new creative roles in the field of artificial intelligence. Today, he explains how our ears interpret and understand the human voice and how this understanding led him to create, potentially, a voice that's neither male nor female. We know sound makes a huge imprint in people, and sound is a very effective tool in the creation of stories. A big part of working with sound lies in the work with voices, because we are all individual. No one sounds exactly the same. So when Emil Asmussen and Ryan Sherman from Virtue Northern Europe called me and asked me if I wanted to be the sound designer on the Genderless Voice Project for Copenhagen Pride, I was very intrigued, but I was also excited to explore the boundaries of voices within technology. When we started the process of making the genderless voice, we came across some very interesting research about the human voice. We called it the neutral zone. But to understand what the neutral zone is, you first have to understand what the fundamental frequency of a voice is. So the fundamental frequency of a voice is a term we use to define how low or how high a voice is in pitch. So the degree of lowness or highness of the tone in a voice. Let's hear an example of that. Hi, I'm Jefferson. I'm an English actor and voiceover artist living in Copenhagen. The fundamental frequency of my voice is 105 hertz, so I have a typical male voice. Hi, I'm Elena. I'm a Danish voiceover artist living in Copenhagen. The fundamental frequency of my voice is 211 hertz, so I have a typical female voice. So you hear the difference in pitch, right? The male voice is lower in pitch and has a lower fundamental frequency, and the female voice is higher in pitch and has a higher fundamental frequency. But even though there's difference between Jefferson and Elena's voice, as some of you might notice, there is an overlap in the fundamental frequency. So our intuition was to record some voices as we were about to create a voice, because then we had some material we could work with. We got in contact with people who identify themselves as gender neutral or non-binary, because we thought that there might be some similarities in their voices because they don't define themselves as typical male or female. I recorded their voices, and let's hear a montage of how some of them sound like. My voice is more than a pre-assigned gender. My voice is more than a box to click. My voice is more than this. Or that. It's a voice of progression. A voice of hope. A voice that moves us forward when others are looking back. So as you can hear, their voices sound totally different. There wasn't any similarities we could use in the process of making the genderless voice. Another thing I tried was I modulated some of the recorded voices using auto-tune, which is a vocal effect mainly known from hip-hop and pop productions. Let's hear how that turned out. My voice is more than a pre-assigned gender. My voice is more than a box to click. My voice is more than this or that. It's a voice of progression. A voice of hope. A voice that moves us forward when others are looking back. That wasn't the sound that I was looking for. It became too robotic and not very authentic and human. So I tried other things as well, and it was through the listening and through the investigation that I became so aware of the great potential of the neutral song. This one person had a voice that was different from the other 19. It wasn't very low in pitch, it wasn't very high in pitch. It didn't have the fundamental frequency that was in the neutral zone, and it didn't sound gender neutral. But when I changed the fundamental frequency so it became in the neutral zone, something interesting happened. I kept working with this voice, and one of the things that I did was I shaped the tone and the harmonics of the voice using a format filter. 
With a Foreman filter, you can change the sound of vowels in a voice. You can say it is a kind of a digital representation of the human mouth. By using these sound design tools, I created a voice we thought sounded gender neutral. Let me introduce to you Q. Hi, I'm Q, the world's first genderless voice assistant. Think of me like Siri or Alexa, but neither male nor female. I'm created for a future where we are no longer defined by gender, but rather how we define ourselves. My voice was recorded by people who neither identify as male nor female, and then altered to sound gender neutral, putting my voice between 145 and 175 hertz. Thanks for listening. Q. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Cyprus. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx University of Nicosia. Visit TED.com slash TEDx Shorts to listen to the full talk and learn more about TEDx Shorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.